And millions of Texans spent the Christmas holidays with their families. Those gatherings, however, could be a spreader event for the Omicron variant. And Local 23's Bryce Helms spoke to a health expert about getting tested for COVID following Christmas. He joins us now from the newsroom with more. Bryce. Thank you, Ty Lisa. President Biden announced that 500 million COVID tests would be distributed across the country, and that kind of signals the Biden administration's concerns with the new Omicron variant. As more is learned about the Omicron variant, it's becoming clear that it's more contagious than the Delta variant. On top of that, Hidalgo County Health Authority Dr. Yvonne Melendez says realizing you have COVID is becoming more difficult. The majority of people don't even have symptoms at all. So symptoms is probably the last thing that you should rely on, rely on, unless, of course, you have positive symptoms. And right now, I think the biggest issue that people are having is, is it allergies or is it an infection? Following a holiday that saw lots of travel, Melendez says even people who are asymptomatic should get tested regularly to avoid accidentally spreading COVID. And you believe you're going into a high-risk scenario, like indoors, concerts, travel, family meetings, you know, vacationing, absolutely get tested. Already some places are seeing longer lines for COVID testing. Besides PCR testing, there is also the option of at-home antigen tests. At-home tests are pretty straightforward and fairly accurate. For the most part, only about 85% effective if you have a false negative or if you have a negative. If you have a positive, it's only one out of 100 that is a false positive. Stock can vary between stores, but there is no shortage of at-home tests available in local pharmacies. While at-home antigen tests are mostly accurate, PCR testing will still be the gold standard for detecting COVID. Now, right now, getting a PCR test will take you under 15 minutes, and you typically get your results back in 48 to 72 hours. Putting Local First in the newsroom, I'm Bryce Helms.